everyone. Thank you for being here today on Dusty Coloring. If you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you to today's video. So today's video, we're going to be going through all of my completed coloring book pages and PDF pages for the month of February. Um, I did leave myself some goals for the month and I did happily meet all of my February goals. So at the end of the video, I'll just tick through them so you guys know what I had left as far as goals went. And, um, what I was able to get done. So let's get started. So today, um, the first one I'm going to show you is going to be in this adorable book, Cat Doodles Cuteness Overload. And I believe this is by Julia River. Yeah, Julia Rivers. And it is no kidding when it says cuteness overload. And I colored the cat in the shoe page. And I had so much fun coloring this page. And this was actually one of my February goals. My February, one of my goals was to color with my Brufriner pencils. And this entire page was colored with my Brufriner pencils. I have the round barrel ones and I colored the entire page with the pencils only. Um, the only other thing on this page that is not pencil are the background of the stars, the um, white gel pen. And highlights and accents are with my paint pens, my acrylic paint pens. So if you watch my videos, you know that I use a Thule Art acrylic paint pens and I happen to like them, um, but they kind of been annoying me um, because they're fairly new and I'm storing them properly and they're drying out. And once I clean the tip, they're fine, but I'm annoyed because I had a box of paint pens that um, I had purchased two years ago and I forgot about and they had Pintar, I think they're called. I'll put it in the description. And I had stored these, didn't store these paint pens properly, forgot about them. And then when I found them, I was like, oh, I pulled out a bunch and they work beautifully. And they were stored for two years. I think out of all of the paint pens I had in there, only two of them were dried out or, and I couldn't get to work, but that's my fault. And so I was a little annoyed at my Truly Arts, but I still love them. Um, but I ordered myself another box of Pintar because until those give me bad, until those go bad on me, I like those better. But like I said, if I clean out the tip of the, um, truly art, they're fine. Um, I just, it just annoyed me that the ones that I totally forgot about were like, Hey, here we are working perfectly. And then the ones that I use every day, I have to like fight with it. But I had a lot of fun coloring this page. This is a really cute book. And I'm glad that I got to use my Brufferners because they are really great pencils. I do enjoy using them. Gonna have to use them more often. I did have to use a blender pencil a little bit on the boot, but that's just because I just didn't feel like working at it that hard. So yeah, super fun. And again, that was in Cat Doodles. Um, ow, sorry. Um, Cat Doodles by Julia Rivers. <laughs> just, I hit my thumb. <laughs> I'm beating myself up, guys. All right. The next page I colored was in Christine Vocals, also Um I'm going to try to say that really fast because I can't say it. But I guess me saying it fast didn't help the fact that I can't say it. And I colored this side page. Um, I try and color once a night, um, a little bit every night, because it's my hobby. And uh, I just... I enjoy it, so I try to do it every night to unwind or to relax or just because I want to. Um, but I was a little tired on this night. I it was sat in traffic for a really long time. But I wanted to color, but I didn't want to have an unfinished coloring. So I decided to color this little page. And on this page, I used Prismacolor pencils and some paint pen to add some grass on the bottom. But yeah. So that was super fun to do. And I think I want to do this page. Um, but at the time, I really wasn't in that much of a coloring mood. So I just did this one quick. So I'm going to leave this more because I think I would like to do that other page. And that was a nice book. Um, the next page is in Mystery Island by Coco Wayo. So when I was doing one of my coloring book collection videos, um, I believe this book was in it and then I was like oh I think I'm gonna color a page in it because as I'm doing these videos I'm actually wanting to color in some of these books so I chose this page and I'm super happy with how it came out except for the glittery blingy background um, border but 
what happened was I had out my washi tape and I'm like, oh, let me see if I like how this looks. And I was talking to my husband and I wasn't thinking and I actually put it down. You don't do that <laughs> because it's cheap washi tape and it's not the best paper. And as I'm talking to him, I wasn't paying attention because I just actually did my coloring journal where I actually had the washi tape. So I'm just like talking and I'm pressing it down and I'm talking and then I'm like, oh no. So I knew at that moment, if I would have lifted it up, it would have ripped the entire paper because it's happened to me. Um, so I, I just decided, oh, well, we're going to just make it a blingy page. So I'm not happy with the border but I just was committed and I just did it. But I'm super happy with how the page came out itself. I mean, it wasn't, it's no bells and whistles. It's black acrylic paint, um, black acrylic paint for the background. And then I used a moon stencil and a cloud, um, but that got cut off with the washi tape, which is okay. Cause it came out a little weird. Um, Prismacolor pencil and Ohuhu brush markers for a base. And uh, I feel like I could have made it more vibrant. Um, I was very distracted when I was coloring this page. So even my mushroom caps, um, I laid down the wrong colors because I was talking. Um, and I just, I picked up the wrong colors that I had laid out and, you know, then I just went with it. So I would have liked it to be a little bit more vibrant. However, I am happy with how it came out. I had fun doing it and I love how my boar came out. You guys can't really see it too much, but he's, I tried to make his fur like a little bit more like fur. Um... So it looks okay. It actually looks cute. I had fun. That's all that matters. So that's my page down in Mystery Island by Coco Wild. Uh, the next page colored was in Welcome to the Village, um, a cozy coloring book by Morgan O'Brien. And I dove in and I did this shark fishing page. And this page really, just no bells and whistles. I love these pages. They're so simple to color and I try not to overthink it. It's just, you know, relaxing for me. Um, so I went in with my brush markers, my alcohol markers, my ooze. And the only accents in this book are made by paint pen. And I use a little bit of white acrylic paint just to kind of give it the little wave effect. Like wave was like splattering up. And then I added some speckles in the sand. And I think I may have made the sand. I don't know. I couldn't tell if it was short. It kind of looked like ocean. But then I'm like, why is she in the ocean swim fishing for a shark? I don't know. So I just try to do it as best as my brain can see it. But I really like this book. And that was super fun and relaxing to color. And again, that was in the Welcome to the Village um, by Morgan O'Brien. <coughs> Sorry. My next page is in um, Joshua Dunbar's Valentine's Cuties. And I colored this right in the beginning of the month. I did a quick little Valentine Day coloring. Um, so I gave him a quick little border. I didn't really go crazy with it. I mean, I could... It, I didn't even use a, a ruler, so shame on me for that. But I had fun coloring him. Um, I gave him a border, and then I used a cloud stencil and some distressed ink for the background. So I think that was tumbled glass. And then he's just based in alcohol marker. There's really no pencil shading. I just used acrylic paint. Yeah, paint pens for um, accents and highlights. And then I use stickles for the banner just to make it pop a little bit. And I use the Color Cube palette for this. Um, I don't know if I wrote down which of the Sarah and A. Clark Color Cube, cube palette. Um, I didn't write it down. But I did use um, one of the palettes, um, which was basically like just these colors, exactly. I think one of my goals was to use two color cube palettes and I had pulled out randomly go figure like a pinkish one and I'm like oh perfect I'll you know I'll find a valentine day coloring for that one and I did and I used I used it for this so that was a lot of fun yeah I had a lot of fun with that one and that was in valentine cuties by Joshua Dunbar my next page is in Faye Dorable's mini Two by Selena Fennec. Um, 
this was actually my random coloring. So I roll the dice and I have a system and it picks out a page for me because that's how I like to do it. Uh, and this was the book it was it selected. And I colored um, the Yeti and the girl. So um, I colored very little with alcohol base, just higher in the trees, I believe, or with my alcohol markers. And I added this little circular border to the background. I used white gel pen. Um, and then I used the bleed proof white paint for the trees and just to make it enhance like her trim of her, her coat and to give it like a fur look and then the snow on the tree. A little bit with his fur and then everything else was personal color pencil. And that was a super cute page to do. I did want to go in with like, um, and outline this with either Sakura Stardust or Stickles. Um, but I forgot. But that had been the plan. If I could always go back and do that. Oh, and I used Pink Pen um, for her hair. See the highlights in her hair? This Pink Pen. And this is another cute book that I love. The Adorables Mini 2. Um, the next book was um, another one of my on my goal list for February. So this book, um, The Sweet and Simple by Hannah Lynn, is on my list of books to complete for February 2023. And um, my goal is two to three a month. And then when I get to the end of the year, I'll speed it up or, you know, like add more or however. But right now I'm just at two or three. Um, so I colored this page here so this page is based with um, marker in, in its entirety and I use some black stickles for the lining of her hair and I use black washi tape to match the stickles just to border it off and I kept it at a simple palette and I used the color cube palette for this so I met my second I met my goal for my two color cube palettes which I thought I wrote down, but I didn't. So next time I do that, I will have the number down to share with you guys. And the other page I did was um, the Oz Scarecrow. And I just kind of went simple with this one. I didn't really go in with any pencil um, to really shade. I just used my alcohol markers and my acrylic paint pens for highlights and details. And I actually noticed that I didn't finish her eye because I had smudged it and I had to go back and black out the pupil and then I didn't put the highlights back how I wanted but again I can do that but yeah and this is kind of like distracting me so at least I got two down in my Hannah Lynn sweet and simple um the next page is in creepers and haunts by white stag and this was another one on my my February goal I wanted to color in a white stag book so I colored the ghost girl so basically she kind of looked like this. This is what the page kind of looked like. So I gave her a border. And then I colored the background with black acrylic paint. Um, black acrylic paint. The gray is acrylic paint pen. She's colored in Prismacolor pencil. I used pearl acrylic paint to outline her to give her like a shimmer. Like she's ghostly and Sakura Stardust to border trace over the border of the gray box she came out more washy than I planned but like I say in all my videos win some lose some oh and that was the um, bleed proof white paint splattered on the background and that was in creepers and haunts number two by white stack pocket size my next page is in Tiny Little Horrors Coloring Book, which I put back on my list of books to complete eventually. It goes on, it comes off, it goes on, it comes off. <laughs> and the goal was one Halloween or Halloween-esque page a month. And this is a werewolf, so he fit the bill. I gave him a border. Um, this page is colored entirely in Prismacolor pencils only. Um, highlights and accents with pink pens. And I believe I used a watercolor pencil for the background. I think I have this Stadletter, Stadletter, um, Aquarelle. I only have one pencil, and that's the pencil I use for the background. Um, I was supposed to go back in and shade it so it wasn't 
it would have been more vibrant um but i didn't i just did a very little shading with a pencil and i splattered it with acrylic paint and I, I like how he came out he was fun to color and he was cute so had a lot of fun coloring him and i used the um christmas color neon for his eyes which I realized, guys, I really like those pencils. I mean, I don't use the neons, really. And then um, I had done a page in one of my Kirby books that went from, like, aqua, like, some aqua, aqua colors. And then I highlighted with, like, a chartreuse. And to make that pop, I used the neon. And I think it just brought it out so much. So now I use my neon pencils for a lot of highlights with certain color combinations. But, yeah, so he was super fun. And that was in Glenn Dent's tiny little horror coloring book. Uh, the next page I colored was in another um, Faye Dorables, the big size one. And I colored, if I can get my wax paper off, this page. So maybe it looks like I did two Halloween colorings, <laughs> but. And they were both wolf people, like wolfish, but I had fun coloring her. And I think she was my first, was she my first page colored in this book? She was my first page colored in this book. She might have been on a hashtag for the color of the horde. I can't remember. Um, but basted with some with alcohol marker. Everything else was Prismacolor pencil. And then I bordered it with washi tape. And I used um, acrylic paint, the bleed proof splatter for the background, and then just some with like a brush to make it look like there was clouds and fog since they're on top of a cliff and on um, the paint pens for highlights and her fur and on the wolf's on the wolf's fur and I had a lot of fun coloring that one as well and I was in Faye Dorables by Selena Fennick Um, excuse me, I just gotta move my legs falling asleep. Um, the next page I colored was in um, Graffiti Animals by Jade Summer. So this is on my list of books to complete eventually. I try to average one or two a month in this as well. But this month I just did one. I did a jellyfish. And I based it all with um, alcohol marker. I used some colored pencil, some Prismacolor pencil for shading here and there. I used acrylic paint pen for highlights and accents and in the body of the jellyfish like the tentacles I use stickles to make it pop off the page a little and that was jellyfish and that again is graffiti animals by Jade Summer so um this book is no longer available on Amazon um but you can get it on Jade Summer's Etsy shop I believe and get the PDF version. Um, I'll show you my last coloring book and then I'll show you my PDFs. So I colored um, two pages. My goal was two pages in a Kirby book. So since Mythic World has the most pages colored in it, I am trying to finish up this book. It's on my list to complete eventually. Um, once Alien Worlds gets to me, I'll find out if I want to dive into that or if I'm going to move my interest over to Mythomorphia and start working on that one to finish. And in here, I did color two pages. I just have wax paper between everything, so I have to... Oh, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. All right, so I colored... Oops, the wax paper got stuck on some stickles, but that's okay. Um, I colored this page, and this is the... So I colored this, this one and I just kind of went my own way with his colors so I kind of um, gave him like a gradient like effect like I kind of went from dark to light and then dark to light and met in the middle um, I don't know why I chose these colors because I'm not a fan of these colors but I just wanted to do something I don't usually do um, and then the crystals were outlined I started to use some Gansey Tambi um, crystal paint here, but I just was getting, I just wanted to be done with it. So I went back in with um, 
some neon pencils, some Prisma. This is all Prisma color and gel pen and paint pens. And then I just kind of, on this side of the page, I added speckles and dots to kind of make it look like, which you can't see in the um, camera light, but make it look like the ground was shimmery. And then I was bored with that. I was over it. I wanted to get this page done. It took a really long time. Um, so on this side, I didn't do it. But yeah, it's hard to get it all in frame. But that was my double page spread. And I did do a hashtag, Samways Coloring. I did um, No Fear of Double Pages. Let me just put my wax paper back. And then I did another page. I just have to see where my little marker is. Did I not do another page? Oh, no, I did. Oh, I did. I did. I did. And I colored the trolls. So originally, um, let me just get my paper bag in. When I had colored this page last month, I had said I wanted to bring these colors over here. But then I decided I didn't want to. <laughs> I just wanted to use different colors. So all Prismacolor pencil. And then I just kind of went more simplistic. Um, and just use the trolls and the water. And then I used some acrylic. Um, the background is gelatos. It's a gelatos for the sky. And then acrylic paint pen. Just to make it look like it was cloudy and foggy and a misty. Misty Dusk or Dawn or how, whichever way you want to go. Kind of just outline this in the background so it could either be, you know, the sun behind the clouds or the moon going away or, you know, however you guys want to, however I want to look at it at the moment or you guys want to look at it. But That's my Kirby page. So those are my two completed Kirby pages. So at least I got that out of the way, but that... Elephant snake, man, it took a long time. It took a lot of my energy, too. <laughs> so next I have some PDFs. So I have this PDF here. And this is from the new um, Carla Mangana. And this is from Aesthetica Synthetica. So I, I purchased the PDF book from her Etsy website. And I'm coloring, I'm printing out the pages as I choose to color them. So this is the first page I colored in that book. Um, I added this black background. I um, It was just her. So I gave her this like tri behind this triangle to pop out of. And I went really shimmery and shiny with this. So I did glossy accent for her lips. Um, I did Sakura Stardust to outline her hair. I gave her some stickles on her eye. Um, some pearl raised um pearl paint on her bow and then i put some stickles on the black so there's a lot of blingy bling on this beach but i kind of felt like it's like 80s kind of vibe so the more glitter the better so the and oh and i used the sakura glaze for her eye lashes and her eyebrows I had a lot of fun doing that and some gold gel pen in the earrings. So that was one PDF. Put it back in its cover. Um, another PDF was um, the Christina Karen. No, I'm sorry. Oof, Daria Kakasoy. My bad. Um, I think I have a Christina here somewhere. Oh, anyway, my bad. Um, these are the Daria's page. So here is the frog prints. And basically I had printed this out on a larger size paper and then I cut it down. Um, I acrylic gold shimmer painted a border. I used uh, my gelatos for the background. And then she was colored um, a little bit with marker and then everything else was with Prismacolor pencil. And I try to keep her into like the pinkish red theme, like the Valentine um, kind of colors that I colored the Cupid page in. So I kind of try to carry it over for this and just add a little more gold. So she was fun. Had a lot of fun with that one. 
And this is from um, various Etsy shop. I printed out, I, so I, you know, chose that PDF and I printed that out. Um, the next PDF is from Deborah Mueller Chubby Chubby Mermaid um, Etsy shop. And again, since it's like it was, you know, sticking in the mo mood for Valentine's Day in February, I was trying to do some lovey lovey pictures and colorings. So I chose this double um, dragon love page, which I call it. Um, so I used some marker, but not much. Everything else was Prismacolor pencil. Um, the background is black acrylic paint. Um, and then I used paint pens for highlights and accents. And then everything else was just colored with Prismacolor. And I used some um, metallic gel pens just for some of these things hanging and for some of the um, glitter effect in the, in the bugs but I had a lot of fun with that one and again I purchased this off of the Etsy shop so all of my PDFs um, except for one were all from Etsy shops sorry I'm trying to get this back in the um, the next one I colored was from Amandine Jung, her pinups, and I colored the leopard girl, cave girl, and she was colored with marker, based in marker, the background is, um, black ac acrylic paint, I used gold washi tape to frame her off. And then everything else is just Prisma highlighted, um, shaded a little bit with Prismacolor and white um, splatter paint. And that was pretty much it for her. So I did her. I'm trying to get at least um, one page in that book a month, but I'm not making it a goal, but I'm just trying. Um, my next PDF was from Molly Harrison and again purchased on Etsy and I did a little love bee. So this background I used a shimmery acrylic paint for the background. I used uh, very little marker as you can see. This is from Edwina Mac... Who did I say? Molly Harrison? I lied. <sighs> Forgive me everybody. Because I have a Molly Harrison coming up. This is Edwina McNamee. Sorry, Edwina. <laughs> um, so I used a shimmer paint for the background. And then I used Prismacolor pencils. I used some Socorro glaze for the bee's eyes. I used paint pens for accents. Gel pen. And this page was a lot of fun because it was cute. And I just enjoyed coloring it. And this was on... Um, the, the Etsy shop as well. I'll link all these um, Etsy shops in the description. Um, well, I don't know if I can link yet. So that's why please like and subscribe because I'll be able to link at some point. Um, yeah, and some paint pens. But I'll put all this in the description so you guys can find it if you need to, the shop. And this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this page. <laughs> um the next one is from i want to say oh prismacolor and gelatos so here we have and i don't know is this morning scribbles i just want to look and see my completed pages Which I forget. I'll put it in the description. I think it's Morning Scribbles too. Um, I don't know. I have to look. Um, I'll put it in the description. But it's definitely this one I got on. Um, I purchased the book off of Binzelwood.com, the PDF book. And I had a lot of fun coloring this. So the backgrounds are all gelatos. 
This is washi tape. Um, I use Prismacolor pencils to color them. And then paint pens for highlights and accents. And I absolutely love this page. It's a lot of fun to do. And I love these morning scribble books. And I do have two actual books I bought off Bindlewood.com. Um, but then I just went and purchased the PDF book. This might be morning scribbles too. I forget. I have it written down. But for some reason, I'm not processing what I'm reading. So I'm hot. <laughs> so my brain is like overheating. Um, but yeah, so super cute, super fun. And I love, I've been loving my gelatos for like open background. I just, that's such a time saver. So yeah. So that's Chris Reinick's, um Morning Scribbles too, I believe. But check the description to find out for sure which book. And then my last PDF, this is the Molly Harrison. So it's not like she was in there somewhere. I did a little hedgehog and this was a lot of fun. So I bordered it with um, washi tape which I like to sometimes border my PDFs with because I feel like it makes the page a little stronger. Um, so I bordered it with my washi tape. The background um, is acrylic. So the background was black acrylic, I'm lying, blue acrylic paint. And then I took a sponge and I dabbed it in black acrylic paint and I kind of just like dabbed it on to give it that like bluish black sky background and so that the moon it would be lighter around the moon without me having to shade it um you can't see it so much in the lighting here now but that was the effect I was going for and then I splattered um the acrylic the bleed proof Dr. Martin I think it is um, pa um paint in the background for like this really starry starry sky um she was colored they were colored all with Mostly Prismacolor pencils. I believe I did the bottom here with the Faber-Castell Outbrook Doers. And then I colored the rest with my Prismacolors. And I highlighted an accent with paint pens. Um, I believe these were the Pintar uh, paint pens. And then I added some grass. And super fun, super cute. And that was my last little lovey-dovey page for February. So those are all my completed pages for February. And as far as my goals go, my goals were two curvy pages, which I did. Two sweet and simple from Hannah Lynn. I colored in graffiti animals. My one um, random coloring. I colored in two untouched books. Uh, but I didn't write down which ones they were. I gotta keep better track. Um, I used two color cubes. I colored one page with my Brufiners. One of these pages were colored with my Grise, my new Grise pencils, actually. If I'm not mistaken. I started coloring one of these pages with the Grise pencils, the new pencils that came out. And I wasn't familiar with them and I didn't want to take any chances. So then I went over with my Prismacolor. So that's like a half of a goal met but not really. And then I did my Halloween coloring, which was from the tiny little horror book and an extra, which was the other Selena Fennec wolf girl. And the hashtag I did was February color your horde and magic wings, February, 2023. And that was it. And I managed to get out a lot of completed pages this month. Looks like I did about 20. That's a lot for me, to tell you the truth. And that was it. So I had a lot of fun coloring pages this month. Um, and next month, um, I have to figure out some goals for myself and see what I want to do. Just trying to look at my list real quick to see. I really kind of thought I wrote down that but whatever so those are all my um coloring pdfs so i will link those etch i will list those etsy shops in the description because i don't you know i was saying all the wrong names <laughs> today and that's it so guys i thank you for joining me today i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe as it helps out the channel um next video up will be my coloring plans 
for March along with my goals. I'm going to try and do a color combination video where um, I just pick a really small picture um, and color it all with one type of color. Like I have brown combinations. I don't have a lot of color combinations, but someone did ask if I had color combinations. So I'll share them, but I'll do them by color. So like I'll try and get like smaller images and then like do them all like all in brown, but all different brown combinations, just to show you guys my col you know, color combination. So that's a video that I'm working on. And other than that, that is it for today. Thank you guys again for stopping by and for joining me. And I hope everyone stays well. I can't wait to see what everybody's coloring. And um, next month, I can tell you, I am going to try and participate in a ton of hashtags. Um, I wrote down a whole bunch that I saw already being posted for the month of March. Um, I just got to pick out my coloring books to go with the hashtags, but we'll get to that in another video. Till then, guys, stay well, and I'll see you back soon. Bye.